Today, I want to discuss the differences between a few sports models and dress models side by side and their desirability to you, the buyer. What look are you going for and when are you going to wear it? selected a Submariner, a GMT Master 2, a Datejust 41 fluted bezel and a Datejust 41 smooth bezel as they are available in both. These models, although very similar in size, they have a very different look and feel. This is the new 41mm stainless steel new model Submariner. It has the Oyster Bracelet and the black dial with black ceramic bezel which also rotates. You can see why it is so popular and can be worn every day in every situation. And for those that saw my other video, I did actually vote this as the best all round Rolex. So the next one I want to talk about is the Rolex Datejust 41. This is available in both fluted and non-fluted bezels. So the first one I want to talk about is the 41 fluted, which is this one. So this one has the blue Azuro Roman numeral dial. If you guys can see that there. And it also has the fluted bezel. This particular bezel is made out of solid 18 karat white gold, which does carry a premium to the smooth bezel. But this particular one is also fitted with the Jubilee bracelet. It has the highly polished center links, as you can see, and it does articulate around the wrist better than an oyster. So it is slightly more comfier than an oyster, but there's literally not a lot in it. There's obviously quite a few different dials in this model, but this particular one has the blue Azuro, which is extremely sought after. So hopefully you guys can see there on the wrist what it looks like a stunning watch beautiful dial and the blue is absolutely incredible so the other thing you'll notice with this particular watch is the size of the case so it has a much more rounded shape compared to the Submariner which is much more square the shoulders on this particular watch are polished so highly polished shoulders and also the thickness of the case so the thickness of the case is extremely thin which does obviously make it much more comfortable to wear it's a much more dressier look than a sports watch you know the type of clients we would sell this to is someone who would wear it for work like a suited sort of professional or somebody who wants to wear it on an evening and weekend so the next one i want to talk about is the GMT Master 2 Batgirl. This one is a bit of a curveball because it is also a sports watch, which is predominantly on the Oyster Bracelet. This particular one here is on the Jubilee, as you can see. So it has a much more dressier look. It also has the very well-known blue and black ceramic bezel, which is rotating. It's the same shape and size as a Submariner, although the new one is 41 mil, this is 40. It has the squared look, but as you can see with the Jubilee bracelet, it has a completely different look to one with the Oyster. This is available with either the Oyster or the Jubilee. So let's try this one on and let's see how it looks on the wrist. As you can see there, it is absolutely stunning, stunning watch. Again, Jubilee bracelet, which makes it slightly more comfortable to wear. It's got the blue black bezel, which I have mentioned. It is extremely popular with people who want to wear it every day and weekends, so it does cross all the thresholds of, of wearers. It does carry a premium, being on the Jubilee, not much more, slight premium, but it is a stunning watch and highly, highly collectible. So what are your thoughts? Do you prefer the Jubilee look, which obviously is more dressy, or the Oyster, which in my opinion is a slightly more subdued look? It's totally personal preference. They both have the highly polished center links and they're both extremely popular. Let me know your thoughts, guys. So the last one I wanna talk about is another date just so similar to the one we've just spoke about but this particular one has the oyster bracelet and the smooth stainless steel bezel so i'll just show you this particular one it has the extremely sought after Wimbledon dial, which is a slate grey colour with green and black Roman numerals called the Federer dial or Wimbledon dial. It does carry a premium to the other dials. It also has, like I said, the Oyster bracelet, so a different look to the Jubilee, less dressier. And it also has the smooth stainless steel bezel, whereas the other one had the 18 karat white gold fluted. This particular one, again, comes at less of a premium because of the smooth bezel, but again, a stunning watch and really one of my, you know, popular dials. That is one of our favourites and certainly, you know, a deal and client favorite dial. So let's just pop it on the wrist and let's have a look how it looks. As you can see, this particular watch now is a completely different look to the other day just. It's got the lovely pilot polished center links with the Oyster Bracelet and the single folding safety clasp, whereas the others have the double folding. This has the single folding and then it has the smooth stainless steel bezel. A super, super clean looking watch with a highly sought after Wimbledon dial. We would sell this watch to clients who pretty much will wear it every day and in every situation and at just under 10 grand, great value for money. I'd love to know what you guys think and which one you prefer and why and all these watches are available 
If you need any more information, just give us a call.